Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing really well today. So today's video was super requested and when I say super requested, I mean you guys have been requesting me to film this video for years and for some reason I just never did. And that video, my friends, is my favourite all-time brushes. Now, if you've been watching me for a long time, I think you'll already have an inkling what my favourite brushes are. So what I want you to do is pause this video and comment down below before you watch the video and find out what my favorite brushes are, pause the video and comment down below to me what you think my favorite brushes are going to be. Because then at the end of the video, we can see who was right, who was wrong, who got the closest. It'll just be fun for me. <laughs> so pause it right now and tell me down below what you think my favorite brushes are going to be. By the way guys, the makeup that I'm wearing right now, I have filmed it and the tutorial will be edited and uploaded sometime within the next few weeks. So stay on the lookout for that. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated for when I post this makeup look. Also, if you can't wait for the tutorial, I will link every product I'm wearing in the description box down below for you. Okay, let's just get straight into the actual video now. I hope you guys are gonna like it. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite all-time brush and I'm assuming that a lot of you, hopefully, will have guessed what this is and will have written it in the comments. Comments. So drum roll please Stephanie. That was terrible. It is the Sigma A25. I have loved this brush for about as long as I have been doing YouTube. It is just the perfect all-rounder brush. I have so many E25s now. I just keep buying them and buying them and then sometimes Sigma will send me some. So every time I get a new E25 it's like Christmas has hit my household because I just love them. I took six to Ireland with me because the rest of my makeup and all the rest of my brushes are in shipping containers on their way from Australia to Ireland so the brushes I have here with me in Ireland these are truly my favorite brushes that I just adore because I took them to Ireland with me in my suitcase so I took six E25s with me I know that sounds absolutely crazy and for the regular human it would be but because I do makeup as a job I kind of need a lot of them because I use them for so much so this E25 here looks a bit different to for example this E25 here this is one of my newer E25s and this is probably one of my oldest E25s so as you can see they look a little bit different my old one is really dogged now it's kind of um puffed out whereas this one's still got its shape my favorite one is actually my old one so what I like to do with my new E25s I kind of like scruff them up a little bit so I get them on my hand or my clothes and I just like it sounds so bad but I just kind of dog ear them and I make them puffy and I get the bristles all spread out but then after you've owned one for a while and you've been using it and washing it and all that jazz it becomes like this one anyway but I just love them when they're like this they're well worn and they blend super well so all the Sigma brushes I use are synthetic I would never use or promote animal hair brushes because number one I think it's gross number two I don't want my brush hairs coming from some poor caged tortured animal so I refuse to use them. So the reason I love the E25 so much is because if you look at it front on, it's quite wide. And then when you turn it onto its side, it's really narrow. So because of that, you can use it on the flat side and use it to pack on color for the dome shape for hooded eyes and things like that. But then you can always flip it on its side and use the, this is so hard to explain, flip it on its side and use the, uh, use it the other way to blend out your eyeshadow like that. So you use it flat, for example, like this to pack on the eyeshadow and then turn it around like that and then you can blend. Does that make sense, guys? I also find this brush to be super, super versatile. I use this for nose contouring. I use it for underneath my eyes. So because it's synthetic, you can use it with creams, powders, glitters, whatever you like. It's not going to damage the bristles at all. By the way, I should mention before I forget because that would be heartbreaking, Sigma have kindly offered to up the discount code that I usually have from 10% to 15% for two weeks after this video goes live in case you guys want any new brushes. So that is so kind of them. I really appreciate it, Sigma. You guys are the best. I will put the discount code right here for you across the screen. It is Stephanie10 and like I said that will usually get you 10% off but for two weeks after this video goes live in case you want anything from Sigma the discount will be up to 15% instead of 10% so that's nice. The increase in discount will be valid from the 31st of March till the 13th of April. I'll put it all in the description box down below in case you missed anything I said and no this video is not sponsored. My second most favorite brush is probably another one that real OG subscribers of mine will probably know hopefully and that is this one here this is the Delium Tools 787 this is one of the first ever brushes that I started using when I started doing YouTube if you watch any of my super old videos which please don't by the way because they're so embarrassing I watched a few of them the other day and I was just cringing at myself but I still do love this brush so this particular brush I bought it at Sydney IMATS back in 2000 and 13 probably I think it was 2013 so it's pretty old now but he's in super good nick again it is a synthetic head brush so I find that synthetic hair as opposed to 
animal hair. They shed far less, they're far easier to clean, they're more hygienic. And that's why all my brushes, even though I've had them for a long time, they're still in such good condition because I only use synthetic hair. So this one's dirty because I used it yesterday when I did my makeup and it is not time for me to clean my brushes just yet. So as you can see, this brush is huge. It's got an amazing tapered design and it's super fluffy. So it's excellent for blending out large areas of makeup. So you wouldn't use this brush to blend out really precise cut creases or anything like that. But for your transition color or for super smoky eyes or something like that, it is perfect because it gets the job done so quickly, so easily and so well blended. My next favorite is this brush here. This this is the Real Techniques setting brush. I absolutely love this little brush for facial powder. So I use it all over my face if I'm not using my powder puff to powder my face because it's so soft. It's quite small so you can really get into like, you know, crevices around the face and smaller areas like around your nose and if you've already done your eye makeup and stuff like that. Again, it's synthetic so super easy to clean, holds its shape, doesn't stain and I actually put this in my handbag when I leave the house and I take this one with me in case I need to powder my face when I'm out too because it's small, it's lightweight. I just think it's brilliant all around. Great little budget brush. While we're on the subject of powder brushes, this is a brush that I actually got recently but it's already become one of my favorites. This is the BH Cosmetics V2 Vegan Brush. This brush for powder is so soft, it feels like <sighs> has anybody ever blown on your face before? Because it's so soft, it just feels like somebody going on your face. It's lovely. I went through a phase recently of not using powder brushes on my face at all because they were just itching my skin and really aggravating my skin and wrecking my foundation underneath. And so I just went off powder brushes except for the small Real Techniques one. I went off larger powder brushes completely and I was just using a powder puff. But then I got this one about one or two weeks ago and I tried it for facial powder and it worked like a dream. It's so comfortable. You can barely feel it on your face at all and it doesn't damage your foundation underneath. It doesn't aggravate my skin. It doesn't make me itch or anything like that. It's so soft. It's like a cloud against your face and I love it. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned but I'll link every single brush that I am talking about in this video in the description box down below for you. My next favorite brush is this one here. A couple of you may have guessed this in the comments too. This is the It Cosmetics. What are you called? Your name's gone. It is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. Now again, I have more than one of these babies because I love it so much. I have three of these guys. And I took all three away to Ireland with me because I use them so much. So on one end, you have this um, synthetic concealery blending side. And then on the other side, you have a more dense detailing brush. Now, to be completely honest, I rarely, if ever, use the detailing end. I just don't particularly like this end. It's too big and bulky to do any real detailing work. So I'm not a fan of that end. I kind of just ignore it. But this is the side that I love. And even though the name says it is an eyeshadow brush, I don't use for eyeshadow at all. I honestly don't even see how that would work for eyeshadow, being completely honest, but it is an amazing concealer brush. As you can see, this one has got like orange residue on it because I used it with my, here it is, my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector this morning underneath my eyes to get rid of the blue tones underneath my eyes. And I apply it with this brush and then I just blend it out with my beauty blender. This is also the brush that I use to hide my pores. If you guys have watched any of my poreless videos. This is a brush that I use to hide my pores most often because it just blends creamy concealers and foundations so dreamily into the skin. I don't know what it is about this brush, but it just is amazing for that. Another brush that I use and when I'm editing my videos, I always get them mixed up is the it Cosmetics Complexion Perfection brush because this end and the end I use on the Complexion Perfection brush are pretty much identical. So whenever I'm editing, I get confused and I name it as the Complexion Perfection brush, but it's actually the eyeshadow brush. Such a silly mistake, but I constantly make it. So yeah, if you guys want to hide your pores or you need something to blend out your concealer underneath your eyes or you can even apply foundation with this if you wanted to, if you had the time. I highly, highly recommend this brush. Again, it is completely sturdy, never loses hair, so easy to clean, it is amazing. My next favorite brush is another brush by Sigma. This is the Sigma Strobing Fan F42 brush. And this is what I use to apply my highlights. So I use this today to apply my highlight on my cheekbones and my nose and this little area in the nose and my Cupid's bow because it's so small, it's so thin, it's so fine that it applies just the right amount of highlight, not too much and not too little. Also the shape of this brush means that you get that really beautiful curved effect to your highlight which makes your cheeks really pop and look fuller. But you can also use this brush for flicking off excess powder if you've done baking underneath your eyes or anything like that. So 
very, very sweet little brush. Not the most versatile of brushes, but one that I love and couldn't live without nonetheless. My next favorite is a Sigma A40 brush. And again, I've got three of these. This is my favorite Sigma blending brush, aside from the E25. This one is much bigger than the E25, so it's great for blending out larger areas on your eye makeup. So I usually use my E25 to pack down eyeshadow or to blend out more precise areas. Then I'll go in with the E40 to blend it out even more and to blend larger areas at once and to diffuse the eyeshadow a lot more. So if you've watched any of my eyeshadow videos, you'll know what I'm talking about when I try to explain that. I pretty much always go in with my E25 and then my E40. My next favorite, again, is one of the newer ones from BH Cosmetics. This is the BH Cosmetics Vegan F, uh, Vegan V5 brush. This is a blending brush and you know what I love about it? It is like a baby version of my Delian Tools 787. So they're very, very similar in the way that they're designed. Their brush hairs are very similar and the way they taper up to the point is also super similar. So this one blends amazingly well, but it's smaller than the 787. So it's better for just more precise blending underneath the eyes and when you just wanna work on more detailed blending. My next favorite is the Sigma Smudge E21 brush. I could not do my eye makeup without this brush. This is the best little detailer brush I've ever tried in my life. I use this for so many things and again, it's a brush that I have so many of. In in fact, just sitting at my desk here right now, I have three of them. This one has got purple eyeshadow on it from using it underneath my eyes to apply the purple eyeshadow. This one's got white eyeshadow on it because I used it for my inner corner highlight and underneath the arch of my brow bone. And then this guy has got black eyeshadow on it because I used it to go over the top of my winged liner and to mattify it and set it in place and darken it. So that just gives you an example of how versatile this brush is. You can use it for inner corner highlighting. It is perfect for smudging black eyeshadow or eyeliner into the roots of your lashes to really give you that smoky, grungy, smudged effect with your eyeliner or lashes. I used to go for that look so much, but it's also brilliant for like underneath your lower lash line when you want to keep your color super close to your lashes and not bring it down too far. Like I use this today for the black right underneath my lower lash line because this brush is so precise. It keeps your eyeshadow exactly where you want it to go. And then you can go in with a bigger brush like the A25 to blend it from there. So my last favorite brush is the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. I've been using this brush for so long. Again, if you go back to any of my older YouTube videos, you'll see this little guy in action. I use this mostly for bronzing and for blush because it's quite large, as you can see, it takes up pretty much my entire cheek. So I use this to apply my blush. I use it today to apply my blush. That's why it's kind of pink tipped. It's meant to be all white, but he's dirty. And it's also perfect for bronzing because obviously when you bronze, you want to apply your bronzer anywhere the sun hits naturally. And because this guy is so big, just a few strokes and your bronzer's on. So it just makes it super quick, super easy. And it's very easy to blend with this as well. So obviously there are loads more brushes that I use and that I love, but this is kind of my roundup of my all time favorite brushes. And I do have other favorites, but these are just my absolute favorites. They're my favorites of the favorites. So if you guys wanted to see a video on my brush collection in general and what other brushes I have and use, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll film that for you ASAP. Also, don't forget the Sigma code will get you 15% off at the moment for two weeks, as opposed to the 10% that it usually is. If you enjoyed this video, pretty please give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it and subscribe to my channel so that you know when this makeup tutorial comes out so you guys can see it and try it out for yourselves. Of course, I will link every single brush that I mentioned in the description box down below. So if you want to check any of them out that I use, you can. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. So I will put them in the description box as well. So you can come say hi to me over there. We can have a little chat over there. Thanks so much for watching guys. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.